tomorrow's planned announcement by Hillary Clinton makes everything about the presidential race real. But the timing, and for that matter, how she plans to do it on social media, raises a lot of questions about exactly how strong of a candidate she is, thinks she is, and for that matter, has the ability to be. For a fair and balanced discussion, Ben Wickler is the Washington director for MoveOn.org, and Ford O'Connell is a former McCain-Palin presidential advisor. Gentlemen, appreciate you being here. Ben, you think the timing on this is significant? There's been a lot of talk about Hillary wanting to wait until sometime in the summer. I think this is great timing, Leland. Uh, the knives are already out for Hillary Clinton, as we can see. Now she Happened has the, the opportunity. NRA convention. That's right. Now she can punch back. And, you know, the Clintons, uh, Secretary Clinton has a chance to lay out her vision, the reason why she's running, and uh, not just, you know, be in pin pinata mode. This is the time for her to get into the fight. Make no mistake about it, she's been running for president for more than a decade. This situation should be shown as a sign of weakness and desperation. Her poll numbers are crumbling in key battleground states in Iowa, Pennsylvania, Colorado, and Florida. And frankly, the biggest problem she faces right now because of the email scandal and other scandals associated with the Clinton name is really a trust. Uh, trust deficit and that's her problem she has to get out ahead of this now one of the things she's trying to do is reintroduce herself I want to play the video from last time around 2007 she announced her campaign with a video take a look I'm not just starting a campaign though I'm beginning a conversation with you someone pointed out nothing says conversation like sitting alone in a living room talking to a camera does this work Ben in places like Iowa where voters are so used to having campaign by politicians who are willing to come out and actually pound the pavement, go into every little custard stand and backwood barbecue stand and meet folks rather than some kind of slickly produced video? Well, every report says that it's post a video online and go straight to Iowa, New Hampshire. The next week, she's going to be in living rooms and backyards. Different strategy whatever, than last time around. Different strategy than last time, and it's not you know a, a stadium arena or speaking in front of a, a, a roaring crowd of partisans. She's going to go out and talk to people, and I think that's that's the way to get started. That's what she did in 2000. You think that works for her? Well, well, let's put it this way: what she did in 2008 didn't work because she got upended by Barack Obama. Here's 2000. the problem. Well, 2008 as well. Let, let me say the following: the problem is she wanted a coronation, and frankly, 72 percent of Democrats. Democrats and independents are not thrilled with that idea. They want her to compete and they want her to earn the nomination. And right now, they see her as someone who's politically entitled, and that's why she's going to have to go and barnstorm in Iowa, New Hampshire, and in the usual he campaign stops. Headline in Time Magazine Hillary Clinton's main obstacle, her own inevitability. How do you overcome that? Well, one thing I, you know, that I'd agree with is that it's better for the country. I think it's better for the eventual nominee, whether it's Secretary Clinton or someone else. And it's definitely better for the Democratic Party to have. A real nomination fight. That's why uh, MoveOn.org is urging Elizabeth Warren to run for president. I think a lot of people would like to see a real debate about the issues. But, but the important thing is, when you go from zero candidates to even one candidate, there's finally a chance to lay out a Democratic vision for the country, as opposed to just hearing from but the likes of Ted Cruz. Uh, good point. But other than being a woman, what is her vision? What are her positions on key issues? The Keystone Pipeline, the Iranian nuclear deal, where, where, Wall Street regulation. You, you, you should love that. You move sound on like a guy who's uh, ready, to, ready to hear from her, right? This is why she's starting her campaign, so she can start laying it out. But She's Elizabeth, starting Elizabeth her Warren. campaign yeah. out of desperation because her numbers are crumbling and she's losing support even well, among Democrats. I, I want to get in on those numbers. We have some of the recent numbers that show that really things aren't as good as that they have been in the past for Mrs. Clinton. Take a look at this poll coming out of Iowa if she were to take on Rand Paul. Swing state poll, Rand Paul 43%. Hillary Clinton, 42%. And then take a look at the trustworthy numbers. This is coming out post the email scandal. Only 43% of people say that she's trustworthy. 49% say no. Can you come back from that, Ben? Absolutely. This is the beginning of the campaign. There are something like 300 days before the votes are cast in Iowa. There's a long time, and she frankly hasn't started to run publicly yet. She hasn't laid out her argument. She hasn't started talking to voters. That's why you have a campaign. So, so what we're going to hear from, the, the, the we're going to hear her side of the story. The that's the, that's coming, the whole point of running. The poll numbers have been coming down for it. Do Republicans run the risk of coming out too hard, too fast, and then don't have any ammunition come December and January when well, the caucus actually happens? That's what Ben's hoping. We have to slow bleed her. We have to remind the American public that she's entitled. She thinks she's above the law and that she should be the president of the United States just because she's a woman. She is politically old. She's been running for a decade and a half for president. What Republicans need to say is we have fresh new ideas and we're going to move America to a better place and not take it back to the Clinton scandal years of the 90s. They say politics is war. Slow bleed is a pretty, a pretty tough tactic. Look, 
everyone's going to be slow bleeding for the next year. You've got Republicans who are going to be shooting at each other as well but as Hillary Clinton. But not everyone has an encyclopedia of opposition research on them like Hillary Clinton. But not everyone has an extraordinary political organization, has support from across the country. I mean, look, I think a nomination fight in the Democratic Party would be great. I think Warren would be an amazing candidate. But I think Hillary's a formidable candidate, and that's why the Republicans are so scared about running against her. Well, let me say this. Elizabeth Warren would be Last extremely week. difficult, and frankly, we're better off with Hillary Clinton. But again, the Republicans have got a chance here. The question is whether or not they take advantage of it. Well, and we will see starting tomorrow. The gun goes off as she's flying to Iowa. Gentlemen, really appreciate you guys being here. Ben, Ford, thanks so much. Uma?